Hello everybody, this is Yakes87 and welcome back to another Let's Play Heroes of the Storm. Um, in my last video you may have noticed the quality wasn't that great. Um, I've gone back uh, with my broadcasting software OBS and I've kind of fixed that so you should notice an increase in quality in the video. Um, I'm going to once again be playing some Heroes of the Storm. Uh, that's my dog. Um, but um, this time we're going to be playing on Infernal Shrines. Um, you will notice I'm also going to be playing as Rainer again. Um, as, I, as I said in my last video, he is my favorite character. He's one of the characters I'm just the best at, uh, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm good at other characters too. Um, I'm good with Lili. Um, I play a pretty good Zagara. And I play a pretty good Diablo as well. So I'm, I'm pretty good. I've got a support character, an assassin character, a specialist character, and a tank character. All, all that I'm relatively good at. Um... So, uh, w w this time we're going to be playing on Infernal Shrines, which is, it's kind of like the sister map to, uh, Battlefield of Eternity, which we played last time. Um, unlike, uh, Battlefield, Battlefield of Eternity, though, uh, instead of the two guys fighting in the middle, you've got, there's three shrines across the map that will open. And, uh, what we'll be doing is those shrines will activate, and, uh, once, once they activate, um, what you have to do is you, you go over to the the uh, the shrine and you activate it and uh, what happens is minions spawn or little little monsters and the first team to destroy I, th I know it was 30 but the last time I played it, it was up to 40 so I, I think it's it's 30 or 40 and uh, whoever whatever team destroys 30 or 40 minions at the shrine first then gets an infernal punisher that is it's very similar to the immortals from the last battleground but the difference is the Im the immortal punishers they will target heroes before they target walls. So late game, those can cause quite Sounds some trouble. Like You'll notice on the map you've got three shrines right here. Those are the three shrines. And uh, what they'll do is the map will tell us when they're activating. And uh, we'll head over to those shrines. And uh, we'll activate them and kill the minions. And see if our team can do just as good. You can count on me. So you'll, you'll see I'm up here. I'm going to push on the top lane again. Butcher is it's kind of a tough opponent to beat sometimes. Uh, he's given me troubles in the past. I know last round we played, there was a Butcher. He didn't give me as much trouble as he normally does. I had the most trouble last game from their Illidan. Uh, but as you can see, this match, we do have an Illidan on our team, which is quite useful in the grand scheme of things, because Illidan can just sneak up and just do a lot of damage. Sounds like a plan. The first shrine will be active soon. Steel. Uh, we actually took down Butcher there, and uh, what you can see is on the minimap down here is the bottom shrine is actually activating. So we're going to head on down there and see if we can defeat the Guardians and get the Punisher on our side. You see, they have a Leoric down there. Uh, we're going to go up with our team here, and we're just going to put the jump on them. I got my Vampiric Assault there, that's useful. Get out of here, Arcanus. Come on. They actually were able to push us all out of there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the, heal to the healing fountain, which is going to heal and give me some mana. And uh, I think we're going to try again. See, we uh we rallied back there and got the jump on him. 
And uh, that's, that's going to help us secure this shrine. All right, and as you can see, our team was able to pull it off. We got another. We killed their Leoric again, and we have the Frozen Punisher. Now, the Frozen Punisher. Uh, if you've ever played Diablo, uh, a lot of the enemies have this trait called Frozen, and what they do is they spawn these orbs um, around your characters, and those will do damage and root your characters in place. Um, in this game, in Diablo, they actually freeze your character, so you're actually unable to do any kind of act. Like, like I said, they, uh, this is early game, so they were able to actually take down our Punisher fairly quickly. But, that's quite alright, we were able to push down pretty far for being so early in the game. So uh, what we're going to do is they were able to push us back, uh, but we are up a, love, a whole level on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to the middle lane here and uh, soak some XP. And uh, what that means is you're just kind of sitting up on the lane, just kind of just killing minions and getting XP for your team. And see, I was able to get away from Butcher there, luckily. Nova was able to take down Butcher. So uh, what we're going to do is, see, now we've, we're split back up into three lanes. So now we're getting XP from all of these minions. And that's going to help us continue to gain levels on them. We got Siege guys going here. Now one thing I just noticed is I do have three stacks of Raiders recruitment. So what I'm going to do is head over to this mercenary camp. And I'm going to go recruit some mercenaries. See, this is a camp of three, so I'm able to just recruit these with little effort and uh, send those just along the path as kind of like a distraction uh, for the other team as we go and work on securing the shrine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out here by Illidan while we uh, just kind of prepare to uh, get the jump on these guys. You see, we were able to take down three of them rather quickly. Four of them, even. Kill confirmed. Now, the one thing about being able to take out most of their team is the higher level you are, the longer the respawn time. And that can cause some real problems. Uh, late in the game because if you just take the heroes out then they're out of the game for up to an entire minute uh, Where you just don't have that opposition Now while a whole minute doesn't seem like that long uh, It it really can be it, especially when some of these matches they just they're so fast-paced. They're so quick So far, our team's doing really good. Uh, we're, we're clearing out the ads, we're clearing out their heroes. We're just staying on top of them the whole match. And that's that's really what wins these things, is just being able to stay one step above your team. See, right now, I'm working on clearing out the uh, little creeps here, while my team's working on the heroes. See, there we go. Okay, so now we have a Mortar Punisher. The uh, Mortar Punisher uh, fires the little mortar shots in the air that just do a lot of damage. Now the other Punisher that's available is the Arcane Punisher, and that one does even more damage than the Mortar Punisher. Uh, what that one does is it drops little, their Arcane Orbs that kind of spin around with a long line, and it just, it just deals out a whole bunch of damage. I'm actually going to drop Hyperion here. make it a little more difficult for them to continue. See, right now we're just absolutely destroying these guys. Uh, 
I did see there are Tannis up there, so I was able to get jump on him. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount up and uh, just kind of retreat to a safe spot and use my Hearthstone and go back and heal up as we prepare for the next push. We don't have anyone on top lane right now. Uh, we've got our Artanis down on the bottom, Illidan, Nova Zagar are on the, the middle. So I'm going to head top with our minion camp here. And I'm just going to continue to push with the creeps. Uh, just soaking XP, just pushing forward. They, they did recruit some mercenaries here, some bruisers, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on taking those out. I was able to escape there, that was kind of close. They, they weren't able to get me. Alright, so we just took out three of them, which is huge because the uh, the shrine is about to activate. And we still got our whole team up. Now, this is going to be the arcane punisher. Oh, this will be the one I was telling you about that drops the uh, spinning orbs. So You'll be able to uh, see what that's like. That worked out great. Our team was able to hold them off in time to get the uh, Arcane Punisher going. So we were able to get the Arcane Punisher. Yeah, see, they, those are the spinning orbs. Uh, they just they deal a lot of damage, and they're rather difficult to avoid. So we, we were able to push them pretty good with that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run down and grab this siege camp. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and send that towards them. And that's going to help push the middle. And we're going to head on down here in the bottom. And we're going to work on this lane a little bit. We're going to knock out that tower, and then I'm going to follow Illid in here, and uh, we're going to just going to keep pushing them, keep the pressure on them. Uh, right now we are up by three levels, which is just huge. Oh, we got their Nova. Right. Top Shrine is spawning, so uh, I'm going to head over there, and we're going to work on that Top Shrine. I'm 
I'm actually out of mana, so I'm gonna run to safety here and show its guardians your resolve. Hit that and Raiders roll. Yeah, they got me there. Uh, that's okay though. Now that's what I'm talking about. We still got two levels up on them, and uh, we haven't lost a tower yet. And they've lost three towers, so uh, we're still going. We're still doing good. Um, as you can see, our team have, was able to take control of the shrine area, so uh, that's going to help us out. Let's get back in the action here. I'll uh, continue to press on. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I really like Heroes of the Storm. It's just, it's a fun game, it's just cool to just pick up and just do a match every now and then, or multiple matches in an afternoon if, if you feel like it. Um, I play with a couple of friends sometimes, i got a brother that plays, so uh, usually we team up and just, we'll do some matches on a Saturday afternoon or something. Uh, so it's, it's just, it's a good fun, it's just fun to play with friends and stuff. I'm going to continue to head over to the shrine. Uh, looks actually looks like that shrine hasn't been activated yet. Which I'm actually surprised, but I'm going to continue to work on it. So we've got all of us up here, so we're going to keep working on the shrine. I don't know if uh, you guys have had a chance yet, but there was a new character that was just released. It's uh, Chogol. And uh, Chogol is a rather interesting character because it, it takes two players to control him because it's, it's a two-headed ogre that, uh, from the Warcraft series. You've got the uh, the melee character that does all the movements, and then you have the, uh, the warlock character that does a lot of the ranged abilities, and the two of them combined just work together in such a good dynamic. I should have ran away there, uh, but it's all right. Nice. See, right now we only have to kill two more minions. So if we get over there and just drop an A AOE or something, uh, we'll be able to get the uh, Punisher there. Because I don't think the Oryx is going to be able to kill. 40 guys before we're able to get someone up there. See, we've already got Nova hanging out up there. Yeah, we got it here. So we were able to claim the Mortar Punisher. I'll be back in the game here in just a minute. So I'm gonna go join the push here. All day long. Actually, what I might do is, since I'm back here, I'm gonna grab this bruiser camp and use that to push with us. So those bruisers are going to be able to join our push here, and that's that's going to really help. Because it's just more guys doing heavy damage. Sounds like Me. 
I know Nova's hanging around here somewhere. Doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get him with this push. Um, it's gonna be tough, but we might be able to pull it off. See, that is, like I said last time, I, I didn't get a chance to use it that much, but that is a good demonstration of the penetrating round. Uh, two charges and stun. Uh, you see I was able to take out Valor there too, uh, but I was able to use that stun to take out three of their heroes there. See, I missed, I missed their Artanis. But. See, they got three heroes dead here. They did get me, but my Harperian was able to do enough damage to finish off their Nexus, and once again, we win. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this second video. Uh, I kind of used the first video as just kind of a demonstration to get into the whole Let's Play thing, work out whatever bugs I had. Um, as you noticed, uh, I did have some issues with the video quality. Uh, that should be fixed now, as well as I did add a webcam overlay. Uh, if you'll notice that. Uh, so that, that should help fix out some of these things and just kind of make these Let's Plays just a little bit more enjoyable. Uh, you guys can now see what I look like. Um, if you have any suggestions on games you want to see played, uh, leave some in the comments below. Um, subscribe, like, uh, do everything you need to do to help interact with me and this channel. Um, I've got a lot of big things planned. Um, I've got some games in the pipeline I want to start doing series as of and uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to it I'm having so much fun recording these videos um, this is this is the second one I put together and it's just it's been a lot of fun doing these um, I've enjoyed watching uh, YouTube videos um, I watch a lot of Markiplier uh, I'm sure you guys know who that is on YouTube I, I, I just enjoy watching his videos and uh, you, you may see in my videos some, I may pull some elements that he does in his videos. And I, I just want to say right now that if I do do that, it's out of respect for him and what he does on YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'm looking forward to doing some more of these. Um, I don't know, I know right now I've got kind of two days of channel and two videos. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stay on a daily upload. It's going to get kind of busy. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to just doing more of these and getting into some actual series of, you know, just games that are kind of story driven and just just focused games. And uh, I do enjoy doing the Heroes of the Storm. Those are going to be regular uploads as well. So I hope you guys enjoy what's in store for the channel and I will see you next time.